straight 15 kill performance. That was in the four set loss though to Duke on Wednesday. So these two teams, opponents today, they share one thing in common. They're trying to bounce back from losses in recent days. That first swing right out of the middle from Jada Allen, that's the junior middle for NC State, goes long. Now she was calling for a touch at the net. And she was given a touch, yep. Allen was. And really important that NC State get their middles going early to open things up for the pin hitters. And something that's always critical in any game plan. So NC State, of course, in that bright red, they serve it away. Well, the block is strong, and it's not just Allen. It's the combination of her and Martina Leoniak. Leoniak and Allen, and it was funny, we were talking to Coach LeBay, and I was commenting what an elite blocker Jade Allen is, and he said she's been frustrated with her block. I don't know why. Well, she takes it personal when she does not excel at the net. Doesn't see, here's Mabry Shackmaster. You mentioned her a moment ago. She is the all-conference course. That first big rip is long, though, and so it's a 3 nothing start for the Wolfpack. Really important that NC State get off to a good start here on the road. They're just 1-4 on the road in ACC play. And that latest loss was at Cameron Indoor two nights ago. Just an agonizing five-set loss that was Into the wire. Oh, very, every set close. Went almost three hours. Leoniak denied that time. They go back to her. So UNC with a chance. Zoe Barrett is the freshman center number one in the Tar Heel Blue. Making her fourth straight start. And she's run the offense quite well. Amanda Rice, her big swing neutralized. That was Maddie May with the dig. NC State awarded the point. Went off of Nolan and out of play. Nolan, and that's something she's been working on her block. She's pretty much drinking out of a fire hose. UNC moving her to the middle this year, and she had been playing outside hitter, so blocking still a work in progress. And so now more of those responsibilities on her shoulder with Kaya Merkler, the veteran middle, out again. Boy, a 5 nothing NC State start, and you just saw that look of anguish on Shaftmaster's face kind of let out a, out a breath and a sigh because she's staring that score in the face as well. And Mike Shaw is not messing around. UNC head coach calls timeout. Wolfpack up on the road. Lucas LeBay was hired three and a half years ago. The Slovenian took this job February of 2020. Good timing. He can handle just about anything. As the last couple of years, he has uh, elevated this program back to back. Top half finishes in the ACC. And Kelly, this season, they are having their best year in more than a half decade that NCAA tournament season in 2017. I really appreciate it. We had a fun conversation with Coach LeBay on Friday. He's so matter of fact, so yes. direct. Honest head coach, direct. And he really coaches this team like a professional team. Well, and it makes sense. He's coached Olympians. He coached professional ball in Europe for many years before he got back into college coaching. There's another big kill for NC State. So what gives here? It's 6-1 NC State already. NC State, they've been in system, did a great job handling this tough Mabry Shaftmaster serve. Normally that's a, a good point scoring rotation for UNC. And the Wolfpack have been able to run a lot of options in the front row. So the latest kill from Amanda Rice 
The junior veteran picks up right where she left off Friday. Was unstoppable. Leoniak, that's a clever shot. Seven to one. Leonia, great vision, seeing where that block was, going to the off-speed look, and she's so versatile. She can play either pin. She's been in and out of the lineup, played a few sets on Friday, and getting the start today. Allen serves it. UNC needs something here. This is Foster, who you spotlighted right off the top. Here's a chance for the Tar Heels. Thurman neutralized that time. There's a whistle, and there was a net touch. So UNC is awarded the point. Mike Shaw, first season as the head coach at UNC. A couple of former greats on the sideline. Shaw, two-time captain at Penn State, guided the Nittany Lions to, what, three Final Fours, coached there for many years as an assistant as yeah, well. Yeah, under Russ Rose and Coach Shaw, one of the nicest coaches in college volleyball. I think both of these head coaches, you get the sense their players certainly enjoy being in their systems. Back to back now for the Tar Heels. So Maddie May serves it away. First set just getting started. First of we shall see. In recent years, UNC is won a lot of the recent matches and in short order so we'll play best three out of five first to 25 wins the set played a 15 in the fifth nc state doing a nice job handling that short serve of maddie may able to run their middle and riley shock barrett flicks it back to foster she's blocked Madison Williams got a piece of it. NC State's block alive and well here early in this match. Just a really nice read from Imani Foster as a one option pass for the Tar Heels. NC State with its first block. This is Marissa Meyerhofer at the service line. Had a couple of aces Wednesday inside Cameron Indoor. She's coming and done her job as a serving stub really well as of late. Big swing from Leoniak on the other side of the floor this time. That one whizzes long. That's NC State's first attack error in this match. Really nice start so far for the Wolfpack. On 10 swings, they hit right around 200 on Friday. Just one too many attack errors in that five set loss to do. This NC State team very much had turned the page immediately, sort of a squad. Williams right off the hands and through. At UNC Block, they just have to do a better job of sealing the net. They're getting up, they're getting the block set up, but able to sneak through this, Madison Williams right through the hands because Zoe Barrett hadn't quite sealed her hands to the net. So even that fraction of real estate is something that your opposition can take advantage of. Foster, big rip. You and I so. almost had to duck out of the way there. <laughs> Foster, she elevates so well. Just five foot ten. You would not know it from her hang time. Watch this approach, this jump, and high off the fingertips of that NC State block. UNC definitely needed a loud kill, maybe in that manner, perhaps to spark something. The center for NC State in this sequence now, Naomi Cabello. They go with the two center offense. Shaft Master makes it back to back for the heels. NC State running that 6 2 offense, so you will see Naomi Cabello rotate into this match and she will switch with Kristen McDaniel in that back row. Yeah, Cabello wears number eight in the red, McDaniel number five. On the other side, we mentioned Barrett, maybe some Anita Babic as well. Nothing there for Broussard, so back to Shaft Master. That's off the hands and pounds it away. So there's three in a row for the Heels. Really important kill, too, for maybe Shaft Master because we saw her frustration at that first timeout, but 
getting that block going, tooling off of it. And so now NC State counters with a timeout of its own. So both head coaches not shy to use the timeouts early in this set after the 3-0 North Carolina run. So while we got a second, our first chance to remind you that it is officially ACC championship season. And all the coverage is right here on the ACC Network. So later tonight, we've got first round coverage of the ACC Women's Soccer Tournament. UNC, by the way, the four seed of the tournament, they play Pitt at 8 Eastern. Later this week, Tuesday and Wednesday, you got the field hockey quarters and semis. UNC, always a very prominent field hockey program. They're the one seed. They have to buy into the semifinals. Start looking ahead. How about championship season in about a month or so in this conference? We are officially four weeks. Crazy. It's gone from fast. Selection Sunday. And right at the top, as you would expect, Louisville and Pitt. Everybody thought we would see these two once again. It was no surprise that they are right there tied at the top. Look at though the really the, the top seven or eight teams in the standings very little separation and Georgia Tech Florida State both nine and two Miami playing really well right now Wake Forest trying to make their first NCAA tournament ever yeah. NC State top 35 in the RPI making a very strong case and Duke don't don't forget about them they've won four of their last five. So the ACC got six teams in the tournament a couple years ago five last year they should certainly push for six again you would think now louisville got pit so they handed their counterparts their lone acc loss to this point and swept them Meanwhile, it was this NC State team that handed Louisville its lone conference loss. Four sets, the only team to have taken out Louisville in ACC play this season. So meanwhile, as we were discussing the standings there, North Carolina sneaks another point in. The eight to three run just came to an end after the service error. And so Sky Stokes, this is the very reliable libero. He's got a power serve. As a jump top spin serve, very much like Mabry Shaftmaster, and this thing is lethal. Well, you can see some of the audible woos in a sense and have North Carolina scrambling. There you go, 12-9. Sky Stokes right on cue off that overpass. Such a point scoring weapon at the service line and great job by Madison Williams, Jada Allen, being aware in that front row. You have a point scoring opportunity there off the overpass. I mean, this was the first chance for a lot of the fans in this building to see this serve. You know, it, it can surprise you if you're not aware of her type of game. That one's just a bit long of the chalk. It comes in there and gets fast. It's spinning, it's over 50 miles per hour. It's all about the toss, though. You have to have, it's what, a high risk, high reward sort of. You just saw the 28 aces. That's top 10 in the league. That'll work for Sydney Nolan. The freshman in the front row off that overpass as Leoniak had trouble handling that first ball contact. For both of these teams, that first ball contact going to be critical. That's something they both struggled with against Duke earlier this week. You hear every coach say it. Passing, back row defense, it's just so important if you want to play at the high levels. Shaft Master slices it through. This is Cabello again, up by the Brizard. Got it off those fingertips. So it ricochets off the Tar Heel, out of bounds, NC State point. There's the craftiness of Ava Brizard, undersized at five foot 10, but able to find the outside hand of the Tar Heels block. Even despite being, what, 5'10", if you will, top five in the league in kills per set, about three and a half. She's had some big matches too, 25 kill match earlier this season. Step forward, a sophomore from Michigan. Coach uh, Slebe, so she's very organized, like me. Very detail-oriented. This one should be still alive. Bizarre tried to flick it to an empty space. And a little bit of miscommunication there. A whole bunch of Wolfpack players were descending on that spot. Foster is so good on that from that back row, and her hang time also helps the situation as she literally just hung in the air on that tip shot, reading where the defense and block was, and finding the donut in that floor. Meanwhile, one point set once again. Zorn just jams it straight down. 
What an approach by Ava Brizard. Super tempo, fast set to the pin. Watch how fast that ball shoots to the pin. It allows her to get a big approach and a real fast swing. Giant hole in that block. It almost looked like it was a faster, more expedited approach than you would have normally it was, seen. And it was a faster, flatter set, too, to that left side. Talk about the heat. The heat coming this way with Mabry Schaaf. I know, we might, be in a, we might be in a line of fire here because Schaaf, so this is one of her best sharp shots, the sharp cross shot. Just goes, sneaks it inside that block. That is a very hard angle to hit. Did you see, at the, you could see just the turn of the wrist. Trying to get a little extra spin in English on it. Rice is the lefty, neutralized that time. Well, that was a great off by Shockmaster too, but UNC not able to take advantage. That's a couple of times you've said that, so North Carolina, NC State defensively doing a fine job handling those serves. And the hit percentage continues to spike at 409, and that's a nice way to set the tone in the first set. And Coastal Bay will certainly take 409 for your offense. Barrett, a quick flat serve to the middle, and Nolan spikes it down. Sydney Nolan coming off a 10-kill performance against Duke. She was one of the few bright spots offensively, but really doing a nice job disguising where she was going to hit that shot. Looked like she was going to swing into the left and ended up finding the hole in the defense on the right. You know, had all that upside. You just saw it there at the bottom. High school All-American. And Mike Charles said she's been a fun project this year. Excellent dig that time by Barrett on the floor. The one-arm save. North Carolina just knotted things up. That's the momentum. A one-arm dig like that from your center, no less, will give you is watch this one-arm dig and the block by UNC up and ready. That time they sealed it off a little better, and it was swift as well. He's UNC's blocks leader. McDaniel now in the set. That's number five in the red. She wants Leoniak. She's getting some early work in his first set. Oh, McDaniel on the ground to bump that one up. And then North to NC State is awarded the point. Nice job, NC State, too. Scrambling, really big out of system, broken play, still able to point score off of it. McDaniel, a couple of deeps per set. That one very impressive. So it breaks the tie. North Carolina had tied it up for just the first time in this set. They fell behind 4 0 quickly. They were down 7 1 at one point. Uh, some fingertips and gets the kill. UNC has done an effective job of being able to establish their middles here in about the last five points or so. It's found Sadie Swift, Sydney Nolan at times, especially in transition. That's big. That duo has taken nine swings in the first set. Williams. Handled by North Carolina. Foster hit the antenna. So that means North NC State point. Rare hitting error from Imani Foster, who has been so consistent, especially the last three matches, 15 kills in each of those matches, and hitting it a really nice clip. She has just been such a nice one-two punch with Shaftmaster on the left side. No surprises, a tight first set between the two rivals. Stokes dug that one out. Czar keeps the rally going. A piece of that. Leoniak flailed for it, so here's a free ball. Foster off the hands, and it's a kill. UNC's doing a really nice job of when they're getting NC State out of system and they get that ball back in a rally, they're taking advantage and killing the ball pretty quickly. Second time the first set. Rizard, a precision kill, finds the floor. Rizard, so much power, and you have got to get four hands up against her. No touch on this ball, and sneaking it right between the back row defenders. Three Wolfpack players with three kills.
Hills. We mentioned it's a balanced roster in a sense. Meyerhofer could not handle that one. Two-point lead. Stokes also getting the benefit, too, of that ball just clipped the net. So it took a little bit of a weird spin for UNC to try and dig it. Yeah, you see that tape just bobbing up and down, still reverberating. And that prompts Mike Shaw to take the second timeout in this first set. He has none left. Greatness is a feeling, a moment, a choice, unrelenting, a team effort. Greatness is accomplishing on this field and this one. Greatness is more than winning the game. It's changing it. Greatness is what we do. Accomplish greatness. Having such a fine season. It's best season in more than a half decade. They last went to the NCAA tournament in 2017. The record, 16-6, and six, with a loud win against loud. Louisville. Very loud. They were ranked number five in the nation earlier this month. Their RPI is 31. That number is very important. It's, it's a big factor that the NCAA selection committee weighs. And so this certainly is very much a tournament caliber team. NC State, if they can just take care of business the rest of the way over this final month, because you see there are no remaining matches against the RPI top 50, but they have that signature Louisville win over a top five team. The first time NC State had ever beaten a top five team in program history. The body of work is there. Again, but you just have to take care of business against the lower half of the ACC here the last month of the season. And as, as you pointed out early in our broadcast, Coach LeBay, they have zero talk of anything about the NCAA tournament. It gets shut down right away. Very much a stay in the present, focused on the current task sort of philosophy he brings to the table. scramble and that's back to back so you just see the value in having someone who can serve like Stokes you know a couple years ago she was top 10 of the nation in total service aces at West Virginia transfers first season in Raleigh been a luxury to have in the service line and she's been targeting Marissa Meyerhofer on the other side oh, where does she go Shotmaster right shot master. very good defensively change up no one's dug out Bizarre has something here the all-conference stud, and that one is punched right back at her. It's a 4 nothing NC State run. Allen and Williams doing such a nice job. Great setup, great block timing, and then watch them shoot their hands over the net, take away that seam shot of Shaftmaster. Well, that uh, Allen right there, number 16 in the red, leads the pack and blocks just about one a set. Again, not a clean look here for North Carolina. So Stokes does her job. Cabello to the middle. They handle the Allen swing. And that one was just this time, time connection. This time jump by Sadie Swift. And it, it was a d decent set, too. She just completely missed on it with the jump that she had. And UNC has to get out of this rotation. They're struggling right now. Good point scoring rotation for NC State. Stokes continues just to harness the power. This is a 5 nothing run. And that one had a little too much arc on it. North Carolina to side out. Not a little bit too far under it. And that's the, the high reward, high risk that you have with the jump topspin. But Coach LeBay, he'll take the 5-0 scoring <laughs> yeah, run. That's, right. You're going to have some errors there with that jump topspin. No, sure, North Carolina gets what's back, gets what's back. But remember, she's responsible for about three or four. And uh, Brazard played a little Soccer. football. <laughs> Creative. The second one got her, though. So, all right. Door is open just a jar in the first set. North Carolina is only hitting 161. NC State, quite simply, has been a little sharper. They were hitting over 300 until that latest error. Nolan trying to dunk it. Handled by Stokes. That's impressive. 
Foster couldn't get there. Might have been a bit of miscommunication. And now the visitors are two away from a set winner. NC State, too, I've been impressed. Their scrappiness, when it looks like things are breaking down, plays are breaking down, they're still able to keep that ball up. It's been, it's been a variety of characters there. It's been Stokes, McDaniel, Cabello at times, even players like Leoniak, the pin hitters have done a fine job. And Cabello make it McDaniel serve and flies far. 23-20. Welcome to Chapel Hill. Deep in the first set. Your timing's perfect. Welcome to a set point. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying a great day of volleyball. Virginia, a winner. So here we are. UNC, NC State. Little rivalry battle with Kelly Burke. Kevin Fitzgerald with you. NC State has got the home team up against the ropes here in the first set. However, Shaftmaster with a timely kill. That's the all-conference force for UNC. Doors open still. Shaftmaster, just a smart shot going low seam off the hands of that NC State block. And so Shaftmaster, who is the noted vicious server, has Jump an impressive top, one. Yeah, this is a good time for her to be at the service line. Can she go on a run? That's it, set one is in the books. And it was a set that North Carolina State got up early in. They controlled the tempo and the command. And out some A talk, if you will, but uh, they're concerned with just stacking wins the final four weeks of the regular season. Now they're out of system ball for UNC. Yeah. So can North Carolina get off on better footing this second set? That's a big one there for Imani Foster to try to slice a few through the defense early in this second set. Foster really has been the bailout, that back row attack, out of system ball, and still able to terminate. Four kills leading the way for the Tar Heels. She's been red hot of late, back-to-back -back 15 kill performances. Number seven in the red who just swung there. That is... Oh, what a dig. Yeah, a tone-setting pin hitter for the Wolfpack. That's Ava Brazard. Sydney Nolan sends it through. Nolan, I, I, I appreciate her effort so much. She's working so hard to make herself available in transition. And keep in mind, she came as, as in as an outside hitter, hadn't played middle since 16 years old, but she's making it look very efficient in that middle for UNC. And she's had to play middle with Kaya Merkler now out for a fourth straight match. Hoping to get Kaya Merkler back possibly as soon as next weekend, but that's an experienced senior for you on UNC squad, so a lot of freshmen seeing playing time right now. And Berkeley starter for many years, she's a senior, so it's a freshman and a sophomore in the middle. Nolan with Swift. Here's Ramani Thurman, another first year player on the right side. Big swing for Amanda Rice, that one was wide. Rice coming off that career high 27 kills the other night against Duke, but hasn't quite been able to find her range yet in this match. And she's a central part of this NC State offense on that right side. 27 kills in a five set or so, more than five a set. And you're thinking, well, how many swings are in the errors? She hit 440. That is on 50 up. swings, just five attack errors. Talk about efficiency. And th that was huge, too, because Amanda Rice had been struggling the three or four matches before that. It was slumping a bit. Although that one, it was an arduous one to drop. They lose it five sets. Inside Cameron Indoor on Friday. Zoe Barron's the center for UNC. Nice find. Right back to the freshman, Romani Thurman. I like the decision from Zoe Barron to go right back to her freshman. Big swing, big approach, cuts it inside that block. And Thurman, she was getting in extra work after serving pass today. You can see her confidence continues to rise as a freshman. This, this uh, fully illustrates your point. It was freshman setter to the freshman right side. We're highlighting the freshman Nolan earlier. So some youth on the floor for North Carolina. And Leoniak smashes it through. Leoniak, she gives you a different look. Hasn't played a ton the last couple of matches, but she brings that length at six foot four, can play over the block, has a variety of shots. And she played for the Polish national team. Yep, they're working her in early. She's 
taken seven swings, second only to, as you would expect, for Zong. Some of that was because Courtney Bryant struggled against Duke. Oh, oh. 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 No surprises here. This is Leoniak. Manny May, a really reliable apparel. Block, that one stays in. Boy, the big ricochet to the back row. Really nice read, too, by NC State. That back row attack, it's hard to get a double block up against this. Watch, they get six hands up against Shaftmaster and Madison Williams on the denial. Nice job being high and timing that block perfectly. Just a slight block advantage for NC State in the early goings of this match. This took out our grip, too. State. Yeah. Not enough real estate for Foster there. Doing toppling over chairs, cameras. Better to let that one go. So three aces now for the visitors. This is Sadie Swift on the slide. That one's rejected. Foster. That's a great precision kill. Cross court termination. Vision by Imani Foster. Double block up. But what? She just cuts it inside that block. And Leoniak comes over to help cover po a possible tip. And nobody in that front area of the floor. Good start. Six kills. 333 hit percentage. Williams. She asking for the touch yet. Yeah, looked like that one was just a, a mistimed swing. So now it's five up after the error. That's one where you get the natural reaction of one side says. Well, of course, as an outside together. hitter, you're going to say, hey, there was a touch. <laughs> Try to get the call. Savvy move. Leoniak stuck with that one. And now we're tied up six apiece. Leoniak. She hits such a heavy ball, too, so you have to try and get a block touch on her shots because so hard to dig that power. Tough serve. Blocked again. Riley Shock, really nice job pressing and turning those hands. Watch this. Double block up from Williams and Shock, but Shock doing a nice job turning her hands back in toward the court to deny Mabry Shaftmaster. If there's one thing that is a great strength of this NC State team, there are a lot of vets. Might not be so many junior, uh, seniors. You've got a lot of juniors, though, that have been in this LeBay system for many years now. Stokes up high, Brazard didn't have much to work with there, but it's blocked wide of the chalk, so NC State is awarded the point. And blocked, I, wound up on the other side of the line. And, and just sort of a lucky break for Avery Brazard because she, as you said, tight, set tight to the net, did not have really any options there but to tip. She's taken a match high 15 swings, six kills, 333 hit percentage. So it's a nice little run here. Wow, that's another excellent dig from Stokes. And Brizard finishes the job. NC State, they're doing a nice job, even when that block is not touching balls. See this power that Shotmaster generates. No touch on that block, but still able to dig that ball and run their offense in transition to be terminal and pick up the point. And so Kelly, NC State's now on a 7-2 run. Another run that prompts a Mike Shaw timeout. Early in the second set, we step aside. Faith's Flowers wasn't living up to its name. But now she's using Amazon Business. With bulk orders that work around her schedule. Plus easy ways to track spend. Which means Faith has the time to make it, well, fantastic. Amazon Business, your partner for smart business buying. We don't just have everything, we have your thing. 25 miles, 30 minute drive from Raleigh to get here to Chapel Hill. Look, it's been a few years since NC State beat North Carolina. Last time they did so in 2018. In between, it's five straight UNC wins. Uh, 
the visitors. They've only won four sets from those prior five meetings, so it's been one-sided. However, NC State has one set in the books already today. That should have been off the fingertips regardless. It finds that back left corner anyway, and so Shaftmaster registers her fifth kill of the afternoon. Shaftmaster is just a magnet for finding the high hands of opposing blocks. Smart shot maker. Two-time all-conference selection now. She's a junior, loves this place. Great loyalty, has yeah, been here for three so years. So loyal. Just keeps evolving her shot, Marcel. That's why, good decision there, Shiv, uh, Swift, pardon, just shifted out of the way at the last second. Back to back for the home team. North Carolina, Kelly, has lost two in a row. Both matches on the road at Georgia Tech, at Duke. These are the top challenge. half uh, ACC teams. So, yeah, it looks like, looks like we got the challenge Coach was card here. He was trying to find the green challenge card. I think he finally found it. <laughs> no, he's a, he is uh, known for his organization and his detailed scouting and preparation. Where's the card? I'm sure that would drive any <laughs> detail-oriented. Especially crazy. him, because yeah. he's so matter-of-fact. But looking for the touch on this block, or potentially did any defender, did it hit Swift, really is what you're probably looking at. Because you're, you're seeing, oh, maybe Nolan. right there. Yeah, Nolan potentially did her fourth or fifth finger. Did any of that bounce back? And potentially looking for did the trajectory of this ball change. Better angle there. Even if it grazed a fingernail, that would count as a touch. Uh, it, it looks hard to tell. Right there, that, that frame, if if so, it's just completely blocked, and it doesn't look like there is, It almost looks right? like her fingers are forward. It doesn't yes. look like the, the pinky finger is bent backwards. We should know that the officials sometimes have different angles than we have on the broadcast. And so to overturn this, you would have to have inconclusive evidence that there was a touch. And so to clarify, North Carolina was awarded the point because our officials said there was no touch at the net. And that swing wound up wide, out of bounds, and wide of the chalk, if you will wide of the court lines, and so NC State, Lucas LeBay, the Slovenian, challenging. Doesn't want to give a point away here as we approach the midway mark of the second set. And the R1 official, who's the, the up judge that has the view of the net, she's across the court. So Coach LeBay is on the side of the court on that left side where the swing of Brizard was taken. That's Bonnie O'Connor up on the chair. Michael Holder is who you just saw a moment ago looking at that replay monitor. And typically when the challenge is, when it's taking longer to make a decision, it's because there's not typically enough evidence to overturn the call. Not always, but typically. Doesn't appear as if there's anything sufficient that would suggest that. And the R2 will even look at, so we were obviously looking at Sydney Nolan's fingers. Did any part of her, her blocking hand bend backwards? But they can even look at, we saw UNC, Sadie Swift trying to dunk out of the way. So if even if Swift on the way out, if that ball grazed any part of Swift, then you could also overturn the call because of that. Yeah. I'm with you. I just don't see anything don't, sufficient there, me, and that looks obviously wide of the chalk. Yes, and it looks to me like Nolan's left hand was a little bit to the right of where that ball, the trajectory of it, went. I think they just, uh, even in the tense moment, the squad might have gotten a uh, sheepish uh, smile out of them. <laughs> uh, he, he is as uh, decorated, a yeah, decorated and, and accomplished as as any coach comes. National champion at BYU as a player. He was an assistant there. Went to several Final Fours as an assistant coach. He's got a gold medal in the arsenal. Which we asked him, where do you keep it? And he said it's in a safety <laughs> deposit box and it only comes out occasionally when somebody asks. Smart but man, keep he, it in the safe. He said it's a great memory, but I've moved on from it. <laughs> a 
again, spoken to like someone who has a lot of memories. And so spoken like somebody who has a lot of gold medals, yes. too. He won that, of course. He was an assistant on Karch Corrales staff, the U.S. women's national team, two summers ago, Tokyo. But he's been a head coach of the Slovenian men's national team, so a very accomplished, decorated international career. Let's see if this can get something going for North Carolina. That one, though, fights just the last sliver of real estate for a Williams kill. And really nice shot and decision by Madison Williams. Typically, we've seen her come up the power, just takes a little bit off that ball, rolls it over, able to find just inside that back. Williams, Redshirt Jr., she's one of a couple of the, the Texas defectors. There's actually two, a pair of former Longhorns that transferred after the 21 season. And she's been relearning how to trust her left leg, had knee surgery on that left knee, and has been just dealing with getting her confidence back, trying to come back from that injury. Tight second set. Quite a bizarre. Leoniak, long reach, was able to set that one back high. Double contact, right? So North Carolina has knotted things up. And there you see the, the knee brace, left knee surgery that Madison Williams had when she was back still playing at Texas. That's a good one. And this is North Carolina's first lead in either set this deep into either set outside of the first couple points. And I like the decision UNC Barrett, they targeted Leoniak on that serve. Keep in mind Leoniak, she's six foot four, so she, when that serve dives like that, she's gotta go down far to get it. Barrett's serve this time is just long. So it's 11 up. This North Carolina team, again, they've lost back to back, but you, you mentioned it, Kelly, it's a youthful team. They're dealing with a lot of injuries the last month. They had Chapmaster out for a couple of matches, Imani Foster missed time, Romani Thurman. It's really been their pin hitters that have been in and out of the lineup. Stokes bumps that one up high. Rice. Yeah, that'll work. Nice job, NC State finding the hands of that UNC block. And when you're able to tool off the hands, it opens up so much court for you offensively because you just don't know defensively how it's going to come off that block. So now back to back for the visitors. Kristen McDaniel serves the general. Fifth season, all of them in Raleigh. A little wet spot on the course. Pardon me. Let me clean that up, and away we go. Aaron puts it, fake for a swing, Foster. Watches it whiz long. That's three in a row for NC State. Foster's been so effective, too, on that back row attack. Just one blocker up that time, so percentage-wise, that should be the, the best swing option that she has to score, but it's a little bit off on that range. Another team with a gaudy hit percentage in this second set. Both are below 200. Rice is blocked. Shot pass a really nice recognition. That set pretty tight to the net. Amanda Rice wasn't going to have a whole lot of options of the type of approach and swing she could take there. And Shaftmaster up, hands pressed, back to the court, easy denial. Allen finds the soft spot in the D. All started with the first ball contact for NC State. Three option, perfect pass, allows NC State to run their middles. An easy point for Jada Allen, who continues to prove up, improve offensively. Yeah, her hit percentage this season is a career best. She's hitting about 400. 
One of two Wolfpack players that has started every match this year. So a stable force in the middle, and it's 15 to 12. Jada Allen, really the epitome, too, for young players out there. She was cut from her seventh grade volleyball team. And to see what she's doing now at NC State. Yak's kill is uh, swing rather is long. Right now, NC State hitters haven't quite been able to find the range in about the last five points or so. For as well as this offense was running and purring in that first set. They were over 300 in that first set, you're right. So a 158 hit percentage set two. And a lot of that at UNC's block has been much more active in this second set. Also touching a lot of balls, too, in transition. Well, NC State is, is hoping for less of what they saw Friday. That was a back-and-forth match against Duke. They lost one, 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 lost one, 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 and then Duke wins the fifth set, 15-13. That's wide, and Swift there tapped her chest to signal, hey, that's on me. And she knows that to be able to run to the middle there, you have to point score when you have an opportunity like that single blocker up. And so sensing that North Carolina State has stretched this thing out a bit, UNC uses the timeout. This is the largest lead of the second set for the visitors. Coming up later, we continue ACC championship season because we've got a pair of women's soccer first round matchups later today right here on the ACC Network. Keep in mind, North Carolina, the women's squad is the four seed in the ACC tournament. They play Pitt in that eight Eastern matchup later this week, Tuesday and Wednesday. we got some field hockey quarterfinals Tuesday. The semis are Wednesday at 1 and 3.30 Eastern. Again, right here on the ACC Network. All right. Four weeks to go Big until reveal. Selection Sunday. Here we go. So, folks, let's let's set the table for you. This is the committee's second reveal, reveal number two, of what the top ten seeds would look like if the tournament started tomorrow. It doesn't. We all know. But this is how things would shake out. You, of course, recognize Louisville and Pitt in that top ten. What do you make of the rest? Tennessee, new into that top 10. Arkansas as well, and they're both having tremendous seasons. So they are into that top 10 mix. We expected Texas, Pitt, Louisville all to be in there, but Wisconsin only at number three. They're the three. Down to three. So in the coaches poll, it goes Nebraska one, Wisconsin two. Stanford though, according to the committee, is the second best resume out there. Boy, how about that battle a week ago? So. Nebraska's unbeaten. It was a Wisconsin, great match. right? Wisconsin Ooh. one loss. Their lone loss to the Cornhuskers was a five-setter. And they went the distance, too, in that this time. NC State, well, even out, out of the timeout, is starting to pull away. And that one was off a block. It just landed on the North Carolina side. And so a fortuitous bounce the visitors get. NC State, they've just been better out of system terminating balls. Been a little bit more of the scrappier team. And you see that's, they're only hitting 182 in this set, so it's really been all about the defense. It's a negative number for the Tar Heels. You don't like that. It's a 4 nothing scoring run. You can see it all starts with the first ball contact. They have been out of system. Jada Allen has served top, and she's really improved her serve through the course of her career. It's really turned into a great all-around player for this Wolfpack squad. So Mike Shaw just made a substitution. The freshman Safi Hampton comes in, outside hitter. And yeah, this Wolfpack team, they've, they've stayed pretty measured in this second set. Even despite some of the attacking challenges. Attack error gives possession back to the home team. Six and a half blocks, by the way, as a team for NC State compared to just three for UNC. It's 
to the middle. This is Allen's backup. That's Riley Shaw. That one is long, so back-to-back -back errors. Shaw, she just couldn't find any hands of UNC to go off of or get a touch. A little bit too much on that ball. Meyer Hoffer had a fine day at the service line on Wednesday against you. Couple of aces. Shock. So able to keep it in play this time. At the net, it was touched by a Carolina blocker. Looked like Swift was the last one to get a piece of it. Because of that, it winds up wide and out of play. Point North Carolina State. Again, the scrappiness of NC State just keeping balls alive, even on broken plays. And Nice job. Amanda Rice just punching that over. They look pretty composed. Out of system. You mentioned it before. What, what, what leads to that? What leads to that? Experience, first of all. And also, NC State spent a lot of time working on those transition opportunities. Because a lot of times in transition, you are going to be out of system. So it's can you terminate on out-of-system shots when you don't have three options available. Yeah, that's one thing Lucas LeBay said the other day, and it's just a constant in practice, is putting, forcing his team to be in those situations. He wants to make them uncomfortable yeah. in practice. So they've gone on some runs, too, by the way. We're on a 7-2 run at one point this set. Recently, they were on an 8-3 run. And so there you go. It's a five-point advantage with his tournament caliber Wolfpack squad. Swift registers another kill. That's her third. I would love to see more of that. Sadie Swift off of one foot on the slide play. One of the hardest plays in volleyball. Two to defend. Generate so much power. Single block up. An easy opportunity. Huge hole as that second blocker had not been able to close in time. the fingertips a little bit weird. So Sadie Swift with just her fifth ace of the season. The sophomore from Austin, Texas is taking this big step forward. Prompts an NC State timeout. So Kelly, we keep talking about the tournament. NC State trying to get there for the first time in six years would be just their fourth ever appearance in the dance. All right, your hopefuls, who you got on this list? You got seven of them. You could really make a case for all seven because, look, all seven are in the top 38 of the RPI. Miami, 38 RPI, but they are rolling right now. Eight and three in the conference. Wake Forest at seven and four trying to make their first NCAA tournament, and they have played very well this season. NC State, that Louisville upset, and really the one team that's on the bubble for me is Duke rolling right now they won four of their last five but their rpi is only 80 so that certainly will hurt their case just not having played it you know as tough of a schedule you know and, and we almost say this jokingly sometimes don't overlook the schedules right a lot all those teams you that you mentioned uh, don't overlook the win loss records i suppose is more so what i mean because those teams have taken care of business in a sense. So it's a very critical four-week stretch. It is, especially because, so we saw the top 10 reveal about half a set ago. Some of the things that the committee factors in in determining if you are going to make the tournament as an at-large, strength of schedule, RPI, head-to-head -head competition, which is a biggie here in the ACC, results versus common opponents, and then significant wins or losses. Significant win for NC State, certainly lose a big one to fall back on. North Carolina, though, is registered back-to-back -back points. Oh, an NC State timeout. Look at Stokes was right there to handle it. Brizard, the swing, gets the kill. Wow. Perfect example is that's a ball that should have been killed by UNC off the overpass. Sky Stokes somehow keeps that ball and it allows NC State to come back in transition and side out. How dependable is the Ohio native? Just for past, yeah, a thousand digs earlier this season. Three West years in West Virginia. Virginia. That's Hampton. Might have 
have been her first swing of this match. Make it the second. Shot faster. That one was flicked back. So here's a free ball for the visitors. Cabello up high to Broussard. Stokes got her fist on it. No one's going to track it down. So a big swing there for the kill. Sydney Nolan at six foot four. She puts up such a big block on this right side. Nice job of pressing those hands. And she, like you mentioned, she's a freshman. She's drinking from a fire hose right now. Blocking is not her strength, but not showing it there. shot a couple of times just the off speed and it's worked twice in this set now just a smart shot by Allen not trying to do too much especially as a middle sometimes you just want to go up there and whack the ball but knowing and reading that defense so important NC State two points away from going up two sets to none on the road at Chapel Hill and ricochets off the fingertips. Rice, precision kill in the back left corner. Wicked one. Amanda Rice, she has got that fast arm to beat the UNC block. Hasn't been set a lot tonight. This is really the first time we've called her name at all in this second set. She's only taken 11 swings, but there you go. A hit percentage that basically mirrors what she did two nights ago. And so it's set point. UNC scrambling. It, it's felt like much of this match entirely. Maddie May kept that alive. And UNC needed it. Shaftmaster with a kill. Shaftmaster has really worked on that off speed look. Somebody that has such a powerful arm, but she's developed those off speed looks, taking with the block and defenses, giving her ghost to that roll shot able to find the bottom of the floor. It's UNC's kills leader. Six today. She always takes a high volume of swings. Cross court set to Brazil. Daniel, first contact. There's a swing. That one's long. And our chair referee up top signals that there was a touch on that attack attempt, meaning last touch by North Carolina, out of bounds. NC State takes the second set. NC State, they have been steady here through two sets, trying to get that bounce back win after a five set loss to Duke on Friday night. Two sets to none, they are up here in Chapel Hill. It's bow time. It's not just football season. It's tailgate season. And this season includes every kind of football. Tailgate like a legend with bold hand-breaded chicken and fluffy buttermilk biscuits. Order your tailgate box in the Bojangles app. It's bow time. Andrew wanted to make a splash at this year's Polar Plunge. So he saved big on a laser hair remover at Amazon. And now... He's debuting what he calls the Flying Dutchman. Smooth move, Andrew. Hey, wake up. The words in your head, you're the only one that can hear them. Say it. Yes, I can. Move. to this feeling. Yes, I can. Yes, I must. Watch me. It's not just designed to look good. It's built to command attention. The new fully electric Audi Q8 e-tron models.
A lot of the game day signs have been funny, many of them provocative. But there was only one sign that was first. That's me. My name is Bobby Merced, and this is the story of how Game Day got its signs. Back in 94, Game Day was coming to Lincoln. Got my sign out, and I started walking back and forth. The campus police said, no signs. But it was too late. Look at all the signs! I had already changed the world. Has it beaten North Carolina in five years? However, they are in position to dash that trend today. They've taken the first couple of sets. So 25-21, 25-20 with Kelly Burt, Kevin Fitzgerald with you. So you've used the word steady to describe NC State today. You've used that word several times. Why? NC State has been really good in transition, which had been a weakness earlier on Friday against Duke. They've yeah. studied that out. A lot of, of it has been their defense is keeping balls alive, and it's allowing them to run their offense getting great production right now from their pin hitters in transition. Yeah, a lot of digs, a lot of good defense, plus they have the block advantage as well. Offensively, Ava Brizard has looked really good, so let's uh, go to our principal, what to watch for. And that has been the play of Ava Brizard. She's worth a watch. Ava Brizard, so crafty, undersized at that outside spot, already eight kills, hitting over 200 and does such a good job of reading that UNC block, mixing up her shots, keeping this Tar Heels defense constantly guessing. Eight kills, couple of digs as well. Just a really savvy hitter. She's taken 24 swings today. And you know, before every match, you know, a, a lot of players, they, they, they have to get prepared. You have to, you know, go over the scouting report and everything. However, she, she writes a few things down. She journals before every match some things to keep in mind. And she's kind enough to share the latest journal entry with us. This go-to pregame routine for Brizard. And I, I love the note she makes. Play your game. Have fun. So keeping all those things in mind because it, it is a game. And college volleyball, especially for NC State right now, trying to make at NCAA tournament, and so you can put so much pressure on yourselves. But so fun and very nice of her to share it with us as well. I like the one third from the bottom. Just be Brizzy. I, I know if we looked at your journal, it would say just be Berkey. Be Berkey, yeah, Berkey, yeah, be Berkey. <laughs> but that is really neat. You know, and, and hey, uh, and Ava is, is very, uh, very nice even share that and let us take a deep dive into what the pregame preparation looks like because for every player it's so different there's so many different things and so many different tendencies that players have and things they can do pre-match just a great way to almost sometimes you say speak things into existence write it down you can see it it's real it's tangible and then you go out and try to execute it all journaling also too it serves to help her work out any pre-game jitters and nerves yep LeBay says she's very organized, so that is no surprise that that element is a staple of her game. Tried to get her hands on that, and she did, but it drops wide. So the third set starts, just like the second did. North Carolina got the first couple points. They need this set in a big way. This is where UNC has to capitalize. They have to be able to go on a run here, really set the tone for this third set, and especially get NC State out of system. The few times today where we have seen NC State have to scramble a little bit and the Tar Heels going to run, it's because they've gotten them out of system and it starts at the service line. Got a couple of wet spots on the floor we've needed to clean up, so it causes a, a brief delay. Zoe Barrett, the freshman starting setter, is at the service line once again. Stokes sets it high. It's still a pretty savvy set for Ribeiro. Now Shaftmaster, nice cut shot. Brizard was the one who handled that. Uh, the defensive sequence there, that's a great kill in the back corner. UNC really needs to get Shaftmaster going in this third set. Just hasn't quite been able to find her range consistently today. But great job just sneaking that between the two back row players. Yeah, she's a four. She's led North Carolina and kills all three seasons. Been in the top ten of the league for three years at Chapel Hill. 
off the block and out of bounds. North Carolina State capitalizing. Rice, such a smart shot maker, using the outside hand of that Tar Heels block and set fairly tight to the net too, but able to go hard off the hands. Duke just had no answer for her. NC State kept feeding her 50 swings in the five-setter Friday. Ten a, ten a set, that's a lot. In 27 kills, a career high. North Carolina denies the Rice attempt. Sydney Nolan, UNC right now, five blocks in this game. Sydney Nolan has been a big part of it. Her 6'4 length and her press is really, really causing issues for this Tar Heel squad in NC State. NC State was probably the slightly better blocking team coming in. And so that is good to see North Carolina staying up with the squad. That one's out of place, so it's 3 2. Race, nice big swing, has that fast arm. Turning to Allen, the middle to serve. 21 aces this year. Lucas LeBay, he wants every player he coaches to be a six rotation player, regardless of position. Crafty shot that time. Courtney Maria Miggins into this game. She's been the utility player for UNC this season. Start of the year setting. At times she's been a right side. She's moved to DS. It's really whatever Coach Shaw needs and inserted today as a hitter. First time we've seen Miggins. Veteran from outside of Houston. Grew up in the Woodlands, Texas. McDaniel up high. Just slams it through, nicely done. Perfect pass, nice tempo ball to the pin. Leoniak, 6'4", such length. Giant hole in that block, and she just tees off. Yeah, that was a rocket. She's been in and out of the lineup. You mentioned it before. Courtney Bryant had been getting a bit more time recently. Today, Leoniak taking advantage of the opportunity. Yeah, she missed the preseason and spring with an injury, so trying to get healthy. Got the brace on the left leg. Miggins, not much to do there, so free ball. And the only act did not have the angle, so that's a Aaron set. And UNC is doubling up the Wolfpack. So UNC has to continue to do that, get NC State scrambling, especially in transition here. Today, NC State has been so efficient. But we have not seen NC State have to scramble, you're right, oftentimes today. Shock, the senior from outside of Philly, gets All it done. Started with the first ball contact. Sky Stokes, she might not be high up in digs overall in the ACC, but I've been so impressed with her play, digging right to target. She's been that second ball contact at times as a, as a setter when she's needed to, and that lethal jump top spin serve we've seen. Stokes, the total package, They're displaying everything today. So North Carolina maintains the lead. You would see they're just keep, continue to shuffle their lineup, trying to find that mix of where they can get production offensively. In each of those runs, North Carolina State has been on so many. UNC needs one of those. They need a, a seven to one, eight to two sort of a run. This is their largest lead of any set today. Shotmaster is one of the best at disguising her shots. Looked like she was positioned, her feet facing cross court, like she was going to swing cross court, but goes down the line. Mike Shaw says, she has said to, he has said to us in the past, she, she, she loves to study the tape in, in practice, the extra rep, the reps. How can I find the new creative way to get the job done? This run prompts the timeout from NC State. Pastor, one of the veteran players, too, on this UNC squad. It was so many freshmen seeing playing time. What an example for these underclassmen to learn from. And we are actually going to have a challenge, a challenge like, rather. from Coach Slavay. That so he thinks Shaftmaster was in the net here? 
it to me looks like that ball actually went off of Naomi Cabello into the net. I don't I don't necessarily see a, a net violation from Shaftmaster there unless her lower body somehow hit the bottom of that net. I think you're right because there was the net did start to bob and shake up and down, but that was after the ricochet you referenced. Yeah, it looked like that ball kind of went off a of Cabello on the way down. So uh, Michael Holder. And it's a reaches, pretty quick decision yeah, too. He, he, he breaches the huddle to deliver the bad news, I would imagine. How do you like to deliver the bad news to Coach LeBay? <laughs> Shaw's face didn't look like that was any good news, I suppose, for North Carolina. I'm wondering if they're going to replay the point. Interesting. So here's the story. By the way, there is a, a point awarded to North Carolina because that was a double contact. contact. So, so North Carolina, by the way, is awarded that point. Evidently, the... The, the replay the cameras or monitors or the, or the uh, video feed that the officials have failed on that sequence. They had no feeds to replay that point, so NC State doesn't lose a challenge. They still have both. We step aside. North Carolina has its largest lead of the match. Taylor Tannenbaum are back Monday at 6 Eastern, ACC PM is coming your way. So this is a special final hour at 6 Eastern. Where we will reveal the new football scheduling model with Cal, Stanford, SMU, of course, joining the conference next season. So look for that 6 Eastern, ACC PM tomorrow. If you're going to have anybody get you out of a four-point four deficit, Sky Stokes is the person you want at the service line. Well, let's mark it down, right? So out of the timeout, North Carolina had gone on a 4 nothing run and had a five-point advantage. Stokes, who's got, let's see, 132 career aces, although that one's long. And that's the first time today we have not seen her go on a point-scoring run at the line. Yeah, this is an eye-popping figure. She had 56 in a season. And that is a big an number. extraordinary total. That was two years ago her sophomore season at West Virginia. Although UNC trades one back the other way. So Kristen McDaniel is the senior, the Hawaiian at the service line from Milan. downtown Honolulu, the capital. Nice slide down to the knee to get it. This is Rice. Was it a touch? Our chair official says yes. Three points set. If I'm NC State, I'm continually going to that right side because UNC has not been able to stop Amanda Rice. Ten kills, hitting 
467. Another service error, though. And so that's eight for NC State today. Make it a nine compared to their three aces. So UNC has been a little more conservative at the line. North Carolina awarded the point. Watch McDaniel. Uh, what they're going to call is a back row attack on the center because McDaniel is technically in the back row so she can't cross the plane of the net, which she did, trying to rescue that ball. North Carolina, its finest moment right here this match in the third. Leading by six. Daniel to Rice, that one pinballs wide, out of play. NC State the point. That was a super athletic set by McDaniel on the run, back sets it all the way across the court to Rice, and that allows her to beat the ball. There's a freebie for the visitors. Not the right angle there for Allen. Lift. And so that was a lift, meaning. She got too far under the yeah, ball, so you're, you're essentially carrying the ball. So back to back for NC State. The Wolfpack have taken the first two sets, but find themselves in their biggest hole of this match. Manny May had to cover a lot of ground to track it. Wow, amazing dig that time by Broussard on uh, the Shaftmaster swing. That was a wicked one. Right back to her. That's the second contact, so Stokes has to bump it over. Barrett. Star blocked and it winds up falling inbounds. And it's Amanda Rice yet again. I've been so impressed though. As you, you see, big time block. Rice, great job on the press. Solo stuff on Mabry Shoutmaster. And, and that is tough because she comes with so much power. 3 0 scoring run for the visitors. And so now, seven and a half. For NC State. However, Nolan that time would not be denied. Nolan really becoming a weapon in the middle for UNC. Nice job and just taking a facial almost to Sky Stokes. Yeah, it looks pretty looks pretty natural at that position. Again, her last couple of years at, uh, in high school, I should say, was more of an outside hitter. That's what she was recruited as technically, but her play in the middle has been huge with Kaya Merkler being out. So our R2, that's Michael Holder. He blows the whistle, starts walking in. I believe Stokes was down or slipped and stopped play. They'll replay the point. You wouldn't see an opportunity to go on a point scoring run here with maybe Shaftmaster at the service line. Just whizzes wise, slices out of bounds. Chapmaster just hasn't quite been able to find her serve today. Such a weapon normally. No aces. She's got 27 of them on the year, which is good for seventh best in the conference. Yeah. NC State is at an uh, answer for just about everything today, but again, not quite in this third set. This has been a fun matchup of the right sides, lefty right sides, no less, as Maria Miggins inserted into this match to give UNC some more offense, able to split the block on the scene. Third kill for Miggins on just four swings. Daniel flicks it, Leonia. Got it. Just squeaks it inside the out of bounds line. Leoniak, I've been so impressed with her versatility. She's had some big swings and points here today. She also at times has been taking that second ball contact and setting the ball to some of her uh, uh, 
respective pin hitters. Fine job passing. She's got four digs, four blocks, and you're right, she's taken the third most swings today for NC State. Hampton gets it through. It's a big one for the freshman. Hampton, just a freshman and doing a nice job finding the low seam of the block to go off the hands. UNC starting to get some offense from some of these inserted players like Maria Miggins, like Asafi Hampton. He's got a lot of upside. First team, high school All-American at Hammond High. Jess of Maryland, it's outside of Baltimore. This is Williams, yes. Williams for having a bad knee. She still gets so high, elevates really, has great vision with that block, able to find the seam of it and just sneak it inside that sideline. at the service line. Barrett, backs it, Swift, denied. And so now NC State is back within two. If you're UNC, you don't want to let this door remain open for too long. Back to a two-point set. Watch how well Ava Berzard tracks Sadie Swift to the pin. Slide. One of the toughest plays to defend. She has a five-inch side differential there and still able to stuff her. And so the crucial element there is just the lateral movement on the sequence. Yes, because when you're running the slide off of one foot, you're tracking all the way from sort of the middle area of the court. So you're having to move laterally and time up your block. And, and the power it generates off of one foot. You're already at the disadvantage being the blocker. Yes. The other side having it. Rizard pounds it right through the block and it cascades down. That's a big one. Ava Brazard doing everything well right now, blocking UNC and also seeing that block really well. The distribution has been nice offensively, so McDaniel and Cabello, they, they have done a fine job just working that ball to all areas of the net collectively. NC State hitting 291. Good idea from Barrett. Great deception from the freshman Zoe Barron. First time today we've seen her dump that ball and completely fools this NC State defense who can't get a pancake up. Bodies flying to the floor. Boy, well, almost got there too. That's an important one. And now the home team maintains the three-point edge. Let's not overlook what UNC has done, especially Barrett's work in this third set, hitting 333. Just three attack errors, that's all. Cabello, but you know, if there's if there's a time to do that, it's right after your counterpart sneaks one over. We see that often. The center on the other side goes, well, wait a second, I could do this too. That's what you call a clap back. <laughs> yeah. Naomi Cabello saying, I counter your dump and here's mine. Cabello, the senior from Claremont, Florida. <laughs> Nolan, big swing, hammers it down. I like that set from Zoe Barron. A, sort of a slide play there, but moves the depth in on it for Sydney Nolan. And it catches his NC State defense off guard. We really haven't seen Sydney Nolan go behind the setter yet today. Quality offense in this third set. Both teams hitting above 350. Rosario nails it. A lot of running room. Thurman, uh, pardon me, Hampton was able to get there. However, the swing back into the court of play, no one could get there. Rosario has such a big approach and such a powerful arm for being only 5'10". Shaft master, she rises. McDaniel scoops it out. There's Rice. Dumps it. It's down. Rice has so many shots and just great awareness there off the block. Sends it right back over. Amanda Rice continues to play so well for this NC State team. Doesn't always have to be pretty, but she's been so effective. And NC State, you spoke to the balance that they've had offensively. Part of that, too, that running that 6-2 offense, they always have three attackers in that front row. You've got four players that have taken 10 or more swings. So let's remind you, 
As we take a time out here in this third set, the ACC Huddle Crew is back next Saturday. They will be right down the road in Raleigh. Kelsey, EJ, Mark, Eric, and Eddie. The whole gang will be there getting things started at 11 a.m. Eastern, leading you into UNC's uh, game against Campbell. Uh, they need a, need a bounce back win in a big way. That's at noon. Now the primetime matchup, it features NC State. It's Miami and Raleigh to take on the Wolfpack at 8. And so the huddle team, of course, will be back after the game, breaking down all of the day's action. Florida State took care of business again yesterday. So you've got the Seminoles. They remain atop the gridiron standings, if you will. That'll be a good I mean, it's match, their, too, It's their Pitt. conference to, to lose, yeah. Pitt, Georgia Tech, that'll be quite the battle. Well, yeah, on the volleyball court, there you go. Top right, Pitt, Georgia Tech. Right now, the Yellow Jackets, they are... Third. You know, they're, 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 they're trying to stick with the with the two thoroughbreds, in a sense. Louisville and Pitt, they both went 17-1 in conference a year ago, and they both were in the Final Four. One went to the championship game. Rice trying to dump it. Shaftmaster might have some Wolfpack out of position. Look at McDaniel, great instincts. But the swing is long. Leoniak is calling for the touch. I didn't quite challenge. see it on uh, first I, contact. I, you? I didn't necessarily see a touch, but Leoniak was pretty adamant. Again, keep in mind, she's 6'4", so she can see very well above that block. So I think oh, our chair actually, official just... Uh, I, I don't know that... This Coach LeBay, he may not have any challenges left. Well, our uh, our chair official signal with the yellow card. McDaniel took a moment to, uh, to go over and get trying to get yeah, to go talk to, from the R1. Go talk to Bonnie O'Connor. Now Shaftmaster says, what's the scoop? All the while, Slabay is right on Michael Holder's hip. Is a warning. So is he on a bench or a player? That's going to be uh, Nolan going over the net that time. McDaniel was incredulous for a quick moment, saying, where's the whistle? She got it, and it's back to a one-point set, a set that North Carolina has never trailed in. There's a composure and calmness, though, still down one for NC State. as many as four in this set. with Maria Miggins. Look at how high she gets. Great job on the press. Maddie May at the service line. North Carolina desperate, down two sets to none. With a two-point advantage, cut that in half. Rice with, what is it, 14 kills. Wolfpack, when they've been able to run that offense to the right side, especially with tempo, they've been able to beat that UNC block. It's been a very effective option. A career season for the junior from Lamont, Illinois, suburban Chicago. She's pushing a five kills a set average. Today and on Friday as well. The only act, power swing. Barrett gets to it. Hampton, roll shot, handle. Leonia cuts it through. We are tied. Kristen McDaniel right now, the setter for NC State, doing a really nice job making this North Carolina block play all across the net. 
Going over Leoniak, that block can't close quite in time, and a 6'4 size and high contact point. Here's a freebie. McDaniel, who does she want? Shot. It's handled by Miggins. Hampton. Yes. The freshman, Sophie Hampton, love how fearlessly she swings. Crucial moment of this match. Not afraid to just come with the power against this NC State defense. North Carolina has never trailed in this set. Where does Barron go? Right back to the freshman. This is Leoniak. And UNC is now two away from extending this match. The block has been the difference in this third set for UNC. Sadie took a great dive move into the path of Leoniak's ball just completely takes any sort of angle away. Timeout deep in the third set. Lucas LeBay loses, uh, uses his second and final. We were knotted up at 21 just a couple moments ago. And then back to back for North Carolina. It was the Hampton kill and then the swift block. Huge. A little bit of offense and defense working in UNC's favor. This net presence of UNC has been huge. And North Carolina, how they've gotten back into this match, that block here in the third set, putting up an absolute wall at the net, as well as just been able to serve tougher and run their offense with more efficiency. They've been able to have more three option passes available. Yeah, they're hitting what, four, uh, uh, pardon me, 259 in this third set. That, there it is, and you can see the disparity from especially set two to this third set. 259, it's best offensive performance. The other thing that's been a spark for UNC is they've inserted a little bit different lineup. Sophie Hampton coming in, she's been a spark offensively, especially in these last two points. We've seen Maria Miggins been able to terminate at times, so changing up the lineup sometimes. Coach Shaw shaking it up trying to find the mix where he can get offensive efficiency. UNC has won five in a row in this series. North Carolina State hasn't beaten them in five years. They're up two sets to none, but down two in this third set. Heavy dose of Leoniak, and off the block, she's able to convert. Leoniak seeing that block so well, goes off the left hand of UNC's blocker, and Sadie Swift tooling off of it. Big, hard swing. LeBay makes the substitution, and Brizard comes back in. Daniels, Sidney Daniels, a player he loves, really good defensive specialist, heads to the bench. And they'll sub for each other when Brizard's in the front row. She'll come in. Daniels will play the back row. That one's long. Boy, at the last second, Shaftmaster ducked out of the way. UNC set point. The 11th service error for NC State, and that one at a very costly time. McDaniel over to Broussard. And they track it down. Hampton gets there. But it gives North Carolina State the free ball. McDaniel. Oh, the Shaftmaster kept it alive. So here's a third chance. Broussard. Oh, down the line. Got it. That's a big a one. Crafty shot. Had the solo block and just able to find the inside part of that sideline. NC State hanging around. That is a courageous swing down the line there. And so Mike Shaw is going to use his timeout. So this next point is so critical. Of course, UNC can win the set here. However, you know, you drop it. Now it sets up one of those situations where you got to win by two. 
first to 25 if, or you win or win by two. If you allow NC State to tie this game up, you also start those question marks start coming into your mind, especially with this young UNC team. Confidence becomes a little bit shaken trying to close it out. It's a set that UNC has led the entirety of and by as many as five in this set. Make it six, pardon me. That was their largest advantage in this set. And Broussard with the latest kill for NC State, her 11th of the match. By the way, check this out down the line, right? So after McDaniel was denied, North Carolina's got to bump it over. And then just, just watch this one and the attack here by Broussard. Watch this place. This is the craftiness oh. we're talking about with Ava Broussard, undersized as an outside hitter. So she has to get creative with her shot making but just able to sneak it inside that line. 11th kill of the night. She's got that deep toolbox of shots, and, and she wants the ball in big moments like this. Well, and two things there with Meyerhofer hugging the line. It, it was so close. She thinks that one's, that one's out of carve out of play, right? And earlier in the sequence, she tried to power through the block. North Carolina handled it, changes it up. So the savvy sophomore from Novi, Michigan, Gives her team a chance. UNC, you've got to shut the door here. Set point once again. But look who's at the service right. line. Sky Stokes. It is tough to handle. This one's on target to Barrett. Barrett, and it's wide. North Carolina needed it, and they close the door on the third set. And North Carolina perfectly played that first ball contact pass, maybe Shotmaster, your go-to player to close it out. UNC finding life down 2-1 here from Chapel Hill. Desmond Howard. Here to see my college football collection. Impressive stuff, little man. Geico makes it easy to insure. My car and RV, too. Wow. Gloves from your famous catch. How'd you get those? Great smile. Is this from when the band ran on the field? Yep, 1982. Mmm. What is this? Oh, no, don't touch the, uh... Not oh. so fast, my friends! Not so fast, my friends! It'll turn off eventually. For all your insurance needs, from home to car to RV, it's easy to Geico. They say Rome wasn't built in a day, but it could have been if they'd used Amazon Business. Discounted bulk orders on your business supplies, guides on what to buy. <laughs> Bravo. And... It's not just football season, it's tailgate season. And this season includes every kind of football. Tailgate like a legend with bold hand-breaded chicken and fluffy buttermilk biscuits. Order your tailgate box in the Bojangles app. It's bow time. And we're done. Huh. What about these? Looks right. Quicker Picker Upper. Bounty absorbs spills like a sponge. And Bounty is two times more absorbent, so you can use less and get the job done with one. This works? Kinda. Bounty, the Quicker Picker Upper. Everyone is ready for a Monday night football treat. We got a game, boys! And this matchup has a few tricks up its sleeve. Let him find me! Let him find me! Devontae Adams is ready to lead the silver and black into the lion's den. Go get him! Go get him! Go get him! Jared Goff and the Pride are on the hunt to take control of the NFC North. Yeah. Raiders Lions, Monday at 8 on ESPN and ABC. We don't know any first responders who only give 90% or farmers, the workers who build our towns, roads, infrastructure. They don't stop at halfway 
and good luck finding a small business owner who's happy with an 80% effort. That's why they use Ford trucks. Ford F-Series, 100% assembled in America. Because we're all in on America. The third set defensively. It all started with the block of UNC. Seven blocks now in this match. And keep in mind, UNC's front line, Zadie Swift, 6'3". Sydney Nolan, 6'4". So you have got some size at the net taking advantage in that third set. And really a lot of momentum shifts there. It starts defensively for this Tar Heel squad. Seven blocks as a team, three of them in that third set. And it was a set that they never trailed in. Led by as many as six and were able to close the door late. And so they stay alive in this best three out of five match. We play to 25 in each set, unless we go to a fifth, and then it's first to 15. And really, it was the block, and then it was a little bit of lineup changes too. Saucy Hampton coming in for Imani Foster. You know, Hampton was effective. No attack errors. She's taken eight swings, three kills. That's the freshman from just outside of Baltimore who has had a productive October. She has she's play, come in and, and played more because Shaftmaster missed a couple matches. Foster missed three matches. And she had 18 kills against Miami in October. It was a season high in her rookie campaign. So Mike Shaw used her almost like a in the hole, and uh, the X Factor came alive in the third set. Maloniak to the floor to gather that one. There we go in the fourth set. The visitors took the first two. UNC won the third, and by a razor close margin. That big swing is out of play, and so North Carolina starts ahead 1 0. And see, I like that they tried to go to Jada Allen in the middle to really open things up for their pins, but a little bit off in that range. A lot at stake if you're UNC. You've lost back to back. And this is their first home match in quite a while. They just finished up that five match road trip. And so it, just like NC State, has one month of opportunities, just four weeks left. And they'll, they'll play some tough games, tough matches, I should say, like one today, wait, they're at Louisville. Have to play Duke again. Maybe Shaftmaster the kill. Shaftmaster feels like she's come alive in the last half set or so. She's all over the court, making defensive plays, starting to really find her range into double digit kills now. 33 swings for Shaftmaster. And so. I'll, I'll do the quick math. I mean, that's that's more than a third of her team's swings, like 35, 36%. So that is a high volume. She's always been a, a volume attacker in her three years as a Tar Heel. Right back to her on this side of the floor. Stokes hovers underneath it. This is Rice. Oh, a sledgehammer straight down and finds the floor. What a shot from Amanda Rice. And as a lefty, she's got a great line shot. And you have to remember that as a blocker. You have to take away the lefty line. Several NC State pin hitters of late just painting the line. Did you see that the hit percentage 542 today? That'll work as well. Our counterpart, Shaftmaster, just pinballs that one. Shaftmaster, she has been effective to start this four set. And that was a concern for NC State coach Lucas LeBay is we need to slow Shaftmaster down. We're not going to stop her, but can we limit her effectiveness? Average is about three and a half kills a set. McDaniel, did she lose a, did the shoelace rip? Do we need a, a shoelace exchange? Is that even something you carry with you in the bag, <laughs> yeah. extra shoelaces? Well, if they uh, did, they will now. Everybody brings an extra pair of shoelaces moving forward. Jeff Master lets it rip. That one should have, no, it's wide. Looked like she might have painted it right in there. No, it was in. The R1 just, oh. He just signaled it, flipped that line. We'll see if there's a challenge at all. Ooh, very close. 
Yeah, I think one of our line judges immediately put the flag up uh, in the air. And, so if it's up over, in the air. Overruled by the R1. Right. Who a has flag. a closer view and is above. And so that's Bonnie O'Connor up on the chair. So when the flag goes up, that signals something is out. A serve, a attack, anything really. Flag points down towards the floor. That indicates it touched the floor in. And so we're going to have the challenge from NC State side. Actually, the second replay, that, or the first replay, I should say, was closer than I thought. I think it, mm. I, it looks to me like that ball clipped just a little bit of the white line. And here's the thing. If it hits any part of that white line, keep in mind, too, when the ball hits the floor like that, it compresses. to me like that ball is in. First instinct, or at least first glance for me, I thought that one was in. Overturned though. And that last freeze frame image must have been the one. Good challenge. Jeff Master says, uh, no, no thanks, <laughs> I'm not a fan of that ruling. However, it's now three up early in the fourth set. Really good challenge from Lucas Lave. serves around two years at Texas. Early time to recruit, now our second season in a row. Two center offense. NC State's block serves up a little denial at the net. He really didn't call NC State's block much at all in that third set, so that block, that defense of NC State going to be important here in the fourth. And just updated now, nine and a half to seven block advantage. A clean set from Barron, and Nolan smashes it through. Mike, the decision to go to Nolan, work your middles in in transition, especially you've got Mabry Shaftmaster in the back row right now. It's been all Barron running the offense for North Carolina today. The freshman center, Williams with a dot, going out by Maddie May. There's a free ball. Williams again. Jack Master got the fingertips on it. It's a third straight swing for Williams. shot and able to just pinpoint placement of that back corner. Smart shot, Madison Williams. That was close and so Mike Shaw is going to challenge himself. He counters with the North Carolina challenge. You and I are pretty close to that corner. It looked to me like it was in. It certainly looks closer, maybe, than, than, it, than at first thought. glance. Yeah. Really? yeah, that's tough. It could be out. Well, if history is any indication, I will <laughs> say, I, I think our the latest challenge sequence feels almost identical when we slow because, it down. Here's the thing, too. The line judge was right over that ball. Yes. That's My about goodness. as good of a look as you can have as an official. So based on those looks, we're, we're pretty unanimous here in our thinking. We both thought our initial instincts were correct. And the last scenario, it, there was an overturn. Unless there's another angle that we don't have, this might get overturned as well. It is overturned. Or no. Right there, that yep. final frame. So Mike Shaw says, oh, how do we use the challenge card as well? So they each swipe one away from the other. But into the net, the service error gives NC State possession. So they both get to retain the challenge. 
I think Mike still has two, and NC State just Smart, one left. And you'll get a second one if you end up going to a fifth set. Yep. You get one back, you are awarded one if you do end up in a fifth set. And now North Carolina State would certainly like to avoid that. They won the first two and lost the close third set, 25-23. UNC has to get there if it wants to keep this win streak alive uh, against their rivals from down the road. It's only about a 25 minute drive, that's it, from the Raleigh, uh, Raleigh area at NC State's campus to Chapel Hill. This is Broussard off the block, tips out of bounds, and so NC State is rewarded. Block so well goes low seam into the hands, able to pull hard off the block out of bounds. For Sydney Stokes, two aces today. Allen was able to punch that one right back. It's a little too tight for Swift. Come to this side to Hampton. The block slowed it down. Williams wants a little revenge. Hampton turns it away. Hampton, the freshman, great job on that press. And watch her shoot her hands over this block. Complete denial of Madison Williams. Zombie Hampton has given this Tar Heels squad a major lift since coming in in the third set. Just get that mental advantage. Turn one away quite like that. North Carolina is awarded the point after a double contact is the signal from Bonnie O'Connor. You see the errors in this fourth set are beginning to add up for the Wolfpack. Well, I, I would certainly agree that errors is what's bedeviled them here in the third and fourth sets. And again, they only lost that uh, third set by two. There's a rejection. Really nice adjustment, too, by Sadie Swift and Zoe Farron got tooled out of bounds last time, this time able to turn their hands back in toward the court. Great adjustment by the Tar Heels. And they're up three in the fourth. Time out at Chapel Hill. Years from now, when you look at the beautiful life you've built for your family, you'll realize it was all thanks to the choices you made today. The time is now to act on your love. Connect with an agent who can help you reach your financial goals. Savings is the name of the game for us when we shop. I thought we were playing charades. So, we use Rakuten to get your chain. While we're gaming? Go. We get cash back at over 3,500 stores. Cha-ching. Health and beauty, clothes, electronics. Mm -mm. Office supplies. Mm -hmm. Shoes, home and garden. Mm -hmm. Travel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On all of that and more. <sighs> so even when we're losing game night, we're winning. Right. Gulliver's Travels. So close. Capitalizing off the NC State mistakes in this fourth set. Holds a three-point edge. Fresh off of taking the third set. Tar Heels doing it with a number of young players making big contributions. Hampton, a freshman, just served it away. You've got their freshman center, number one, right there, Zoe Barrett. We've seen a whole lot of Sidney Nolan, freshman middle block. Proving impactful at various times throughout the set. And you have a freshman setter in Zoe Barrett, who has been superb here the last two sets and running this offense. You know, the breaks are definitely going North Carolina's way. They're taking advantage of it. This is a 4 nothing run. So Hampton to serve away again. And floated too far. Service error. And the service error is starting to add up for NC State. That's number 13 in this match. And they've come at costly times in the third and fourth set primarily. 
Yeah, you don't want three or four a set. That's the average right now. They really only average about two or three service errors a set. Oh, wow, Brizard with a BB and lets out a roar. That had been building for a while. There's a fieriness of Ava Brizard. This is what you call an angry swing, just teeing off on Sadie Swift down the line. Love the exuberance. Pure emotion from the sophomore. That's their kills leader. Top five in the league in that category. Digs that one out very gracefully, and Leoniak with a power swing of her own. Shackmaster off the block and out of bounds. UNC has done that well in this fourth set. Shackmaster has really worked on that shot, too, of finding the outside blocker's hands of NC State, swinging to perfection off the tool. Still early, however, UNC hitting 286 in this fourth set. They're coming off their best offensive set in the third. Barrett just whipped. That's another kill for Rice. 17 in not yet four sets. Rice so hard to scout because she's got so many different angles. Great cross-court shot as a lefty, and she keeps this UNC block guessing. And it's not like she's the volume attacker. There's two other Wolfpack players that have taken more swing, uh, uh, swings than her today. They've taken 24. Barrett to Miggins, blocked. There's Leoniak. And I, I would have liked a different set choice from Barrett there as the block of NC State. Set up, ready, great job. Leoniak on that press, taking away that look. And so because of that, NC State is awarded the point. This is where a kind of danger zone for UNC. You might need a timeout here. NC State can put together a three-point run. We're pushing deeper into this one. Fourth set between the rivals. An important one for both late in this volleyball season. Remember, quarterfinal action. Women's soccer ACC championship. Wake up, Clemson. It started on the app. And we will get you there when we go final here in Chapel Hill. After the 4-0 NC State run, timeout. 12 up. NC State doing it at the net. The block. Last couple of points as well as Leonia taking a big swing. So Lucas LeBay's team is back in this thing. He just continues to elevate his program, doesn't he? Last two years, back-to-back -to -back top half finishes. They're trying to go to the NCAA tournament this year for the first time in six years. Pretty decorated player and coach, yes? You got to flash it all the way back to his days at BYU. Won a national championship there. Later as an assistant coach, they went to a couple of national championships. And he, was, he was a coach over in Europe as well for close to a decade also was the Slovenian men's national team head coach. So he is coached at the college, professional, and Olympic level. Oh, yeah, you get a little piece of gold, too. Which he has in his safety deposit box at home. But <laughs> he li literally has experience at every level of volleyball. Very accomplished. So he was finishing up that 2019 season at BYU. This opportunity opened up here at NC State, and it was a chance to be a head coach at the college level. That was, you know, he talks a lot about let's check the boxes off. NC State's checked a lot of boxes this year, and so there's a box that he has checked off, if you will, in his coaching career, now a head coach at the collegiate level. And coming from a very good BYU program. Well, this team has gone on a 4 nothing run. Jada Allen at the service line. Wolfpack had the upper hand. They took the first two sets. Eric to Shaftmaster. Rice says, get that out of here. NC State's block making great reads right now. Really, this UNC offense has gotten a bit predictable. And look at the hand placement and press from Amanda Rice turning it back inward on the stop. A clean block. And now 11 and a half as a team. So you're basically at 
what, three a set. Could be much more uh, for an average. And the R2 gets Shaftmaster for a double contact. That's a 6 nothing run now. The error is starting to mount up for UNC. North Carolina said it many times in that third set. They never trailed. They had led the entire way until just a couple moments ago in this fourth set. Sidney Nolan, not the answer that time. Here's Rice, jams it down wide though. One of the few errors we have seen from Amanda Rice today who has been so effective on that right side and has had that line shot working to perfection. It's just, just a little bit wide. Just four, you know, it's been neat to watch her evolution because each year she's just gotten a little better. And this is her breakout season. The career best kills per set of three a set. Hitting, what, close to 300. That's Shaftmaster. Wicked serve. There's her first ace of the night. And top's been served. Coming at an opportune time, too, that ace. Stokes to Leoniak. Maddie May finds that one. A couple of Wolfpack are flying at it. They're able to keep it up. Second chance after the tip. Shaftmaster got it, but that one flies out of play. Amanda Rice, she's really become the go-to player, especially in transition when NC State needs a terminal swing. You know, and she was slumping there for a couple of weekends in October and then ignites two days ago at Duke with the 27 kills, 27 in a five-set match. So a little more than five a set, that's exquisite but still hit 440 on the night. And, and she's really found her groove. She was sick earlier in October, and so that slump, partly coming back from that, just trying to get her footing back under her and her rhythm offensively, I'd say she's found it. She was just brilliant in that Louisville win as well. Hit 433 in that match, so comes up big in the big moments. seen today from his freshman as she's been all over the net. Five blocks. That leads all Tar Heels. Plus the six kills and just the one error as well. So now, here we go. We're getting closer to the fourth set finish line and this thing is all knotted up. A tight set just like the third. Miggins cashes in. A really smart shot. Maria Miggins just throws that ball down into that block, and those blockers are their timing thrown off too by that shot. Miggins, one of the spark plugs in that third set. Just basically every set has been close. NC State just definitely controlled the tempo in the first two. NC State really controlled the net, too, yes. the first two. They go 25-21, 25-20 for dropping the third set by two, and they've knotted it back up again at 16. And really where UNC has had an issue is on that right side, whether it's Amanda Rice taking swings or we just saw Leonia from that right side, but Tar Heels block has had a hard time taking away that right side look. of it. Rizard, D9. Back to it. There's a free chance for UNC. Nothing. Cabello to Rizard. That looked like a touch. And so Kelly, there we go. Back and forth. Ten ties and now five lead changes in this match. Neighbor Brizard just continues to do such a nice job finding that block in the high hands of it. I said match, but just the fourth set alone, 10 ties and five lead changes. So this has been the tightest one, most intense. It has been played even just about every moment. Tied again. Avery Shaftmaster got the touch from the back row. Meyerhoff. 
offer. Serves it. Jack Pastor went after it. May got a right fist on it, just not enough leverage to catapult it back the other way. Great hustle, though. Look at this power swing from Ava Brizard. And Maddie May laying out to try and get to that ball for the one arm dig. Very close. 15th kill of the match for Brizard. This is Sky Stokes. Maddie May tracked that one the whole time. Leoniak, that one sent her tumbling, but she kept it alive. Double contact, North Carolina. Ties it back up. And a big side out for the Tar Heels. Big rotation to get out of, too, with Guy Stokes at that service line. Boy, intense fourth set. This is Shane Caster. Flicks it right through Allen's hands. What deception from... Avery Shaftmaster looks like she was just going up to tip that ball, was hanging in there, and then last second just throws that ball down. Yeah, Shaftmaster, you know, we talk so much about her abilities. You know, it also comes down to the athleticism, the conditioning as well. In 44 swings, she's always taking a high volume and yet can have such an impact late in a match. Uh, you know, that's how you become a all-conference first team selection. High volume, she's already is a double-double. And keep in mind, too, she gets served and targeted a lot yeah. from opposing teams. So having to handle a lot of balls all around the court, offensively and defensively. Tied up still, Barrett. The no-look pass, if you will, no-look attack. Jack Master, right idea, hit the tape, though. And NC State pulls back ahead. It's the first to 20. You can see the frustration on Shaftmaster's face, too. She knew that she had that block beat. Just a, a little bit of a miss hit. It's a wild fourth set. 13 ties and seven lead changes. <laughs> we, we have just had a consistent trend of, you know, one team taking the lead, losing it, then taking the lead back, losing it. Brizard up high off the block. Oh, what a dig. And that went around, did it though? Yeah, yeah the yeah. NC State sideline was saying that one went around that outside antenna. And you've got two teams. <laughs> <It's the face. laughs> NC State. Don't lip read on that one. So much on the line. NCAA tournament trying to really continue to position themselves to, to get an at-large berth. And then UNC can play the whole role of spoiler here. Let me throw on the rivalry thing, too. And maybe a little side of Amanda Rice today. <laughs> 18, 18 kills has hit 500 and heating up just as this match gets deeper. And the efficiency, too, hitting 500. Amanda Rice, no defense right now can stop her in the ACC following up her 27 kill performance against Duke. And she has such great vision reading those opposing blocks. So many different angles. She's a nightmare for opposing coaches to scout. And so she's helped NC State now inch that much closer to a match win. They're four points away. We've certainly got a long way to go the way this sport set has played out. But there's Lucas LeBay pointing to the noggin saying, hey, let's stay in this thing. They are a few points away from closing out the weekend with a bounce back road win. An important one too after losing a heartbreaker to Duke the other night. Two points in the, the fifth set. This is one if you're a head coach, you know, boy, you, you've got the late set advantage. You let this one slip away. We go back to 0-0, zero, zero, you know, and you just you never want to lose focus in a scenario like that. McDaniel is at a fine day defensively and setting. That one's blocked, and it's wide. So North Carolina's back within one. Shaftmaster again. Great correction by Mabry Shaftmaster. Swinging a little bit higher off the hands. Last time she swung, trying to beat that block into the top of the tape. 
Sadie Swift to serve. Critical moment. Here's McDaniel Watt, wants the star. Brizard. This one has UNC scrambling. Somehow found its way to Shaftmaster. Rice. for UNC and able to get their block set up on the cross-court look. It's 21 all, 14 times in this set. However, the error gives the lead and momentum back to the Wolfpack. And Ava Brizard at the service line who had three service aces against two. Yep, pardon me. It's been a very entertaining fourth set. Communication 23 21. NC State gets a break. And that's a costly miscommunication. NC State all of a sudden two point lead, and really Shotmaster should have just taken that ball. Ava Brizard serves it away. Barron back to the stud, punched back. She wants it. One point set again. Maybe Shaftmaster just taking over this match late for UNC here in the fourth, keeping her team afloat. You see the double-double numbers, 18 kills, 11 digs, does it all as a six rotation outside for the Tar Heels. Here to the Wolfpack go, McDaniel wants Rice, that is vicious, and we have a match point. And of course it's Amanda Rice setting up match point for NC State. The go-to player today, she's been so effective and really unstoppable from that right side. I mean, this is pretty much your ACC player of the week, right? It, it better she's certainly, be. yeah, nominated, her, nominated herself for that award to say the least. It would help if she's got a win in that application. Match point for her team, Jeff Master. Steps it through. We're not done yet. Not so fast as Mabry Shaftmaster, who has had about the last five points for UNC. 18 kills, and most of them, you're right, in this fourth set. Feels like it's, what, six or seven in this set. And that was after getting to a, a, off to a rough start in that first set. NC State uses the timeout, so Slave calls timeout here with UNC serving on NC State match point. You like that timeout? I do. You're trying to ice the server yep. a little bit. And also remind your team, keep, keep in mind, Coach LeBay, very in the moment coach. And just reminding his team, who's very experienced, just settle down. So both teams out of timeouts in the sports set. They've used them up. And they have exhausted just about everything. This has gone back and forth. Keep in mind, too, these are, are two coaches. They are friends. They live about three miles apart. They've yeah. been, been trying to, Coach Dahl telling me, they've been trying to get together in the offseason. Have, haven't quite made it happen yet, but even their youngest child, respectively, at one point were at the same elementary school together. Now they're at separate middle schools, but a lot of parallels in their lives. Mike Shaw's team needs one last rally. And so if you're UNC, the only way you win this one is by winning by two. So, however, it's just one point at a time. Meanwhile, on the other side, NC State on the heels of the agonizing five-set loss on Friday. And here's what's going to be. Here we go, though. Yeah, maybe Shaftmaster at the service line, but high reward, jump top's been served. Shaftmaster, by the way, nine fourth set kills. Nine in this fourth set. What does she have? McDaniel flicks it. Rice, that one got tipped. And so here's a chance. Hampton just had to punch it. Who wants it? Rice, this is still alive. Shaftmaster tracks it down. Back to Rice. Amanda Rice on the heels of 
of a career high 27 kills on Friday. Punches down her 20th kill in a fourth set winner in Chapel Hill. Rice with the exclamation.